Hello and welcome to Alteryx. Today we're going to be talking about how you can leverage the power of our platform going from building something out within Alteryx Designer and then producing some very automated insights via our auto insights offering in the cloud and also talking about how you can build that story in an automated fashion. Now imagine as if you're working in the Office of Finance and you've been tasked to build a process that can do some cash flow forecasting. So what we'll go ahead and do is we would have gone and built a workflow very similar to this where we're bringing in some income and expenditure data and eventually via some prep and blending within Alteryx Designer, we would go ahead and leverage our time series forecasting tools to actually produce a forecast and some charts. Now, it is well and good to actually go ahead and populate those dashboards, whether it's within Alteryx, Power BI or Tableau, for example, but that can be very time consuming in terms of building that daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly or annual reports. So let me show you another way of how to actually do this with our platform today. I've taken this workflow here and I've produced a simplified version. So what you can see on the screen is we're bringing in the same income and expenditure data, but this time round we are introducing that data to Auto Insights via our new connector that uploads the data to the platform. So what you can see on the left hand side of the screen here is that we are we've gone ahead and populated a data set called income and expenditure and Let's go ahead and look at the prereqs before we can actually make better use of this data within Auto Insights. So there's a few things we've got to keep in mind. So one of that is the data has to be um, transactional or in a time series format. So what we can see here, we've checked that box here and we have our data in a transactional and time series format. Our field names must begin with a letter and contain five words or less. We must have at least one numeric field to create a measure within Auto Insights and have at least one string field to filter and break down. What we've gone and done is we've made sure that we're removing any unsupported data types such as blobs or spatial. And we're making sure that our maximum recommended limit for any data that we're populating is less than 10 gigabytes. So we've run this workflow, brought our income and expense data in. Let's go ahead and have a look at what Auto Insights is about. So what we can see on the screen is usually that home screen when we go into Auto Insights. Now let's talk about if your team want to understand, explore and visualize the trends within this financial data. As mentioned, you could be using, using those uh, st static dashboards created and populated by Alteryx Designer, but within minutes we can start to identify those insights in your data and give your business consumers that executive summary of your KPIs. So on this screen here, I've actually presented that data that we were just exploring within Alteryx Designer, and we can go ahead and have a look at the Discover page. Here we'll get insights automatically generated on that data that our workflow has produced. So we can look at different measures or KPIs, such as let's go ahead and look at a payment amount. What we can see here within the measures section, this has actually increased by 4.77%. So now if you're working in a finance department and you have a use case where you want to analyze the amount that's going out to as an expense to your suppliers or to your customers, or even if you want to measure the trend of actually paying back a bill or a loan for your organization, you can do that very quickly here within Auto Insights. Now, having our KPIs readily available for us to glance at and drill into makes your decision making and your deep dive analysis easier than ever before, leading to your data driven decisions. It can take weeks or days or even months to create these sort of views where you can actually go ahead and start dissecting those KPIs. 
So for example, let's go and have a look at an overview. How has the payment amount changed over time? So what we can do here is we can have a look at how we're doing versus the previous month. Let's go ahead and have a look at our outgoings versus last year. So we can do some comparisons and do some variance analysis at the same time. Now you've noticed I haven't actually coded anything. I haven't actually built anything so far. These dashboards have been populated automatically. Now let's go ahead and explore this even further. So one thing that Auto Insights is great at doing is it's it's all well and good to understand and see what's going on, but what's caused these trends? You know what are the reasons behind this? Let's go further down and we can have a look at those various factors that's contributing to the likely causes of that change in payment amount. We can go further and let's do some analysis by segment. So we can go ahead and drill down on this and automatically you get a story here. So you can actually take this dynamic dashboard to your stakeholders and your business users and you can tell that story. You can visually see how that changes is impacting your business. So for example, let's go and have a look at those large incremental changes and those decreases. Now also within Auto Insights, you can actually go ahead and understand further things. So we can go ahead and produce what we call measures. Via those measures, we can go ahead and actually create some missions. Now missions is that contribution to your story. So for example, here I have a mission created for that income and expenditure. And again, we can take a deeper dive in terms of those various factors that's contributing to a specific change. So what we can see here is we're analyzing the outstanding balance. That outstanding balance is linked to various other factors. You can take the missions and you can go and present this back to your users very, very quickly. Now, this was just a very short, sharp, um, demonstration showing you how we can go from Alteryx Designer into Auto Insights and you can start playing around and discovering and getting to know your data and contributing to your data-driven decisions a lot quickly and much more effectively.